Hello and welcome back to Switch and Lever. Today we're making a knife, using a ready-made knife blade, brass, walnut and briarwood. Start by planning out how you want your knife to look. Simply trace your knife blade onto a piece of paper and sketch the handle around it. With pre-made knife blades, especially ones like this which are mass produced, you might need to do some fine tuning to file off burrs and to make the blade fit better. Don't use your best file for this as the blade is hardened steel and will cause excessive wear on your files. For this handle we're using a mix of brass and different woods. To begin, the guard was first cut out from a piece of bigger brass stock and a slot milled out to fit the tang of the knife. Fine tuning of the slot might still be required using files to make sure that the fit is tight and perfect. The main body of the handle was cut out from a piece of bigger walnut and the rest of the handle was laid out directly onto the wood using a pencil. The tang was roughed up a bit using a file to help the glue bite into it better during the later gluing stage. As the tang was too long to fit the handle, the end was chopped off using an angle grinder. A deep slot needs to be cut into the walnut handle using a long drill. The piece of walnut was mounted at an angle in a vise for the drill to match the angle of the tang and therefore provide a better fit. The drill bit was exchanged with an end mill to remove what the drill could not get to. Make sure that the fit is tight. Remember that the guard, the briarwood and brass detailing will fit as well, so the tang does not need to reach all the way into the walnut wood. Cut off the walnut where the briar and brass will be placed into the handle and sand the faces smooth. Using the thin piece of walnut cut off from the front, transfer scribe the hole onto the brass plate and the briar and cut out those as well. Test fit everything and make sure all parts go together well. The top side of the spine of the blade was ground down to an arc for aesthetic reasons. As the blade was likely stamped out of a bigger sheet of metal, the spine was very rough and unsightly, so a quick trip to the belt sander made the blade look a lot neater. When grinding, remember to cool down your blade often. Before gluing, rough up the brass pieces with a coarse sandpaper to help the glue stick better to the surface.
Also, polish up the surface of the guard which will face outwards, as it is much easier to get to now before all the pieces are glued together. Before gluing, wrap the blade in tape to prevent glue overflow from sticking to it. Using a slow drying epoxy glue will give you plenty of time to make sure all pieces fit together properly. This can be a messy process, so using gloves is recommended. To clamp the knife blade snugly into the handle without messing up the point of the blade, a knife clamping jig was made using plywood and threaded rod, also known as all thread. A separate video on the making of this clamp will be available shortly on this channel. Once the epoxy is thoroughly cured, take it out of the clamp and sand one side down smooth. Cut out the drawing you made initially and trace the side view of the handle onto the wood using a marker. To fit the brass pommel at the end at an angle, saw off the wood and sand the surface smooth. The brass blank can then be epoxied on the end of the wood while held in place using masking tape as the epoxy cures. Roughly cut out the handle on a metal bandsaw, following the outline you drew before. Using belt and drum sanders, continue shaping out the rest of the handle to meet your plans. If you don't have access to those, using files and sandpaper works just as well, but will require more time and more elbow grease. Once the rough shape has been finalized, you can go over the handle using files and sandpaper. As the handle is roughly done at this point, use finer files and work slowly. You can always take away more material, but it's not easy to put it back. Remember to hold the file at an angle, not straight, when filing over materials of different hardness. Otherwise the file may dig into the softer wood just at the edge of the metal. Sanding can be done using small pieces of sandpaper, or by using strips of sandpaper and pulling it around the handle. 
This helps greatly to smooth out high spots and round off the shape of the handle. Use progressively finer grits of sandpaper, making sure all the scratches from the previous grit are gone before moving on to the next. I would personally not go finer than 600 grit, but if you want an ultra smooth surface, there is no reason why you couldn't go even finer. Once at a smoothness you like, you can finish the handle using mineral oil, danish oil or similar. Clean off the handle using a clean rag or paper towel. Apply a liberal amount of oil and let it soak into the wood for a minute or so before wiping off the excess. If you want to polish up the brass pieces even further, that can easily be done with a small polishing wheel on a Dremel. Just be careful not to get the polishing compound onto the wood, as it may stain the finish. Time to enjoy your new knife! Or continue here on YouTube and learn how to make a nice leather sheet for it as well. I can thoroughly recommend the videos of Ian Atkinson of Leodis Leather on this topic. Click the link on the screen to go to his channel. As always, thank you for watching and do subscribe for more videos from Switch and Lever.